Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger and I'm Alicia Rodriguez. It's a story you first saw on 22 News at 6 tonight. The 22 News I team found out the Penn National Gaming is no longer interested in Western Massachusetts. Chicopee had conversations with Penn National about casino development after Springfield rejected Penn National's plan. 22 News reporter Eugene Cho joins us live with reaction from Chicopee residents. Penn National Gaming is saying no to Western Massachusetts altogether, even though as recently as three weeks ago, they spoke with Chicopee officials about possibly putting a casino here at the old mill property on Front Street. After Springfield, Mayor Dominic Sarno picked MGM over Penn National. People asked, what will Penn National do now? One possibility was to go up the street to Chicopee. Chicopee Mayor Michael Bissonnette had said the Cabotville Industrial Park would be an ideal location for a casino. And last month, he said he would be willing to talk to developers about bringing a casino here. But now we know it won't be Penn National. A loss of job opportunities for Chicopee residents who are hoping to work close to home. I mean, I've been unemployed for over a year now. And I was looking forward to it because I knew I'd pretty much get a job when that did happen, not to mention all the jobs that it would provide for other unemployed people in the area. But for some residents... Not the most easy to get in and out of downtown Chicopee. The headache caused by the David Bridge construction was enough. They don't want any other projects affecting their commute. Don't need all the traffic and crime that comes involved with a uh, casino here in Chicopee. That area just couldn't handle that kind of traffic. There's no way we would have been able to. Penn National Gaming already paid the $400,000 application fee to the State Gaming Commission so they could still pursue another location in a different part of Massachusetts. Live in Chicopee, Eugene Cho, 22 News.